Thank you, thank you. So, my next song is dedicated to the Rainbow High Rockstar Dolls. Um, sir, you can't do that song? The dolls haven't been released in this country. What do you mean they haven't been released in this country? Oh. Hi guys, so firstly, I don't understand why the UK didn't get the stole line distributed in stores or, or online or anything. It's just, I just find it baffling. I mean, I know we had COVID and everything like that, and there was a shortage of toys at some point, but we also didn't get the slumber line, um, show picture there. We didn't get that released in the UK either, which is very annoying, but I do have all three. Thanks to a friend of mine who is actually an air steward, and he went to Target. Uh, each time he went, he got me one and then sent it. So I've got Vanessa Tempo there. That's my probably my favourite. Probably my favourite one. Um, she comes with the drums. And then you've got um, Lyric Lucas, who's like the main singer. And then lastly, Carmen Major, who's the guitarist. Or is that bassist? I think it's bassist, isn't it? But yeah, they make up the Rainbow Dreams band from the cartoon. And you can only get these in Target. Uh, the Slumber Line, that's kind of harder to get because that's in Walmart. And he unfortunately can't really get to Walmart easily. But I just, I don't know. I just find it really just odd that we just never got them over here. Because every other line we seem to have got. Um, oh, that Lily Cheng doll, I bet that's not been released here either. Uh, we didn't get the big... Um, Maya Rain, she's like 18 inch, I think she was about that big. She was huge actually, it was like a small toddler or something. And we didn't get that over here either, so just very frustrating when you're a toy collector in the UK, because um, you either have to uh, get a lovely air steward friend to get them for you, or you have to pay through the roof to get them shipped over here to the UK. Um, I was looking at getting the Vanessa Tempo. Oh, that's not Vanessa Tempo. I was looking at getting the Vanessa Tempo one um, sent over, but it cost over a hundred pounds, and they're only about thirty to forty pounds. And you just kind of think it's just not worth it, and especially when you're getting all three, it's just ridiculous. But what I will do, I will get them all, um, all opened up. I'll just show you the box quickly. So they're kind of all the same. So it shows you a nice picture of all three on the back there. And then the, bo the box is a bit different because it has the standard second outfit on that side, but then you get the instrumental part on that one. So I will start, I think I'll start with Vanessa Tempo because she's my favourite. So Vanessa Tempo first, out of the box. Her face is amazing, I think. Really good detail on there. Um, she's even got some moulded baby hairs on, which I think is great. The scrunchie is real. Um, some nice rainbow braided hair there. That's really cool. Great details on the necklace and earrings. Well, it's kind of like a choker, really, isn't it? And then the T-shirt's quite cool. I'm not really sure about this corset thing. And then she's got bracelets and a watch and some cool fingerless gloves. Um, She's got her drumsticks attached with, like, a bit of elastic. I will keep that on there because I'll probably lose them. Uh, some cool jeans and some very nice kind of, like, Doc Martin-style shoes with some, like, kind of graffiti detail on. She's definitely my favourite out of the three. I just think her looks really cool. And I just think she looks really good. Um, she comes with, oh, got a plastic tie in her hair. I really do wish they'd stop. I wish they'd stop putting these. Oh God, that's like right through her braid. Can you see that? That's like right through her braid. I'll have to cut that out, I think. I wish they'd stop putting these in doll's heads because it's just really annoying. They always get stuck. Um, Accessory wise, a bit muddled really because she comes with a drum kit and it's got the sparkle motif on, which is cool, and a little pedal thing to make it. I don't think it, I don't know, don't think it really work, um, you know, to bang the drum with. But then she doesn't come with a stool, so she's just going to have eternal back pain from having to drum. And I don't know, I'm not really musical, but. I suppose you can drum stood up, but won't that just hurt? So they should have put a stool in with that. So that's a bit lame, if I'm honest, because in the animated show, she actually did 
sit down and drum. So I do find that a bit strange that it didn't come with that. On to Lyric Lucas. So she has a nice hair as well, kind of rainbowish. It reminds me of a troll doll that I had when I was a kid that had like rainbow hair, very much like that. She doesn't fit on the stand as well as the others. Um, and they all come with a gold stand as well. Um, hat, real material, that's really cool. An embroidered detail on there, such, such good detail, I think. I think that's where Rainbow High really excels and that's why I probably collect it so much, just because of the details and all the embroidery and everything. She even got embroidery on her little gloves, the little RH there, really good. And then same kind of jewelry, you know, in the gold, really nice furry jacket there, kind of like a t-shirt that says about her tour and everything. Some leather trousers and some cool shoes. Oh, I forgot to say, each comes with an additional outfit, which I'm not really that keen on. So Vanessa Tempo's one comes with these shoes. I don't really like those. Um, this second outfit I think is horrible. I don't like that. Kind of like weird denim-y, reminds me of Bewitched or something. But this kind of like rain style type jacket, that is nice. And I'm thinking that might fit on a boy doll. So I might see if that fits on River Kendall. Um, Lyric Lucas comes with a, oops, just knocked her over. Comes with a microphone on a stand with a cable, which is material, not plastic, which is good because it'll break. I don't know if you can take that out of the amp, can you? Surely, yes. And then comes with a speaker as well with a handle. Bit of scratch detail on there and it's just hollow. Would be cool if the buttons worked or something or if it actually made a noise or something, that'd be even better. Oh, and it's just falling apart. Um, she comes with a second outfit as well. Again, not keen on this. These boots, I think they were a remold of Poppy. Um, was it Poppy? Yeah, Poppy's shoes. And then this is just a bit meh. I don't like that pleathery kind of skirt. And then the, I mean, the top's okay. It's just a bit boring. So I'll probably sell those on if I'm honest. And then lastly, Carmen Major, who is our bassist. She, she again has like rainbowy hair and uh, little molded baby hairs. Nice eyes there. Um, just take her off of the stand, show you the really nice detail on the back jacket. Kind of looks a bit, to me, that kind of looks a bit like Britney. Not sure, maybe. No, what does it say? Turn your colour up, which is the song, the music video they released. Nice little choker detail there, nice jackets. Nice skirt and some long boots, which say Rainbow High kind of like written on. Again, her second outfit, not too fast. Although I quite like the, because that blatantly looks like MTV logo. So that's kind of nice, but I don't like that skirt. And then these shoes are just a bit boring and basic. She comes with a guitar with, how do I put that guitar there? Oh put it in the box. So it comes with a guitar box that locks like little latches on, which is quite cool and opens up. But the guitar should fit inside, but because it's got these little latch bits on to hold it up, it doesn't actually fit in very well. So that's a bit of a, that's not great, but it does come with a handle to hold. So it is very detailed and it even says RH. Don't know if you can see there. Actually says RH along on all the cross detail. It's a very good, very good detail. I do like that a lot. But um, yes, just still very annoying that it, that they're so hard to get for UK collectors because I just feel they should be released everywhere. So I don't know. I really do want to get the Pacific Coast line, but I'd like to do it when it's sunny and maybe on a beach or something like that. Kind of like when I did the winter line, I waited for it to be snowing because I just... I don't know, it gets me more in the zone and stuff, really. Um, I haven't got any of them yet. I think there's about seven and the set as well. I do want to get, really, really want to get a Shadow High doll because that boy, I'll show you the picture, looks so cool. Really do want that. And I think it's I think it's taken Rainbow High in like a good direction because sometimes with doll lines, it gets a bit boring because they just release the same stuff all the time. It gets a bit meh, but I do like him because he's quite gothy and cool. So yes, are you a UK collector? Are you, do you get annoyed when you can't get certain things? Are you an American collector and it doesn't phase you at all? I don't know.
But uh, yes, let me know your thoughts. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as well. That's Geek Guy Prentice. Um, I put geeky things on there. Um, kind of, I put things on there that I might not do a video about, but I just, I do geeky type stuff every day. You know, I'm always watching films or watching new series or buying toys, Lego figures, everything. So yes, check me out on there and I'll see you next time. Bye.